Hello, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio. I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting your own creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to create an outline or a border around a cutout photo. This can be used for, you know, social media image or blog images. And it's a very popular way, especially actually for YouTube covers to make the person more stand out in front of the background. So let's head into my laptop and get on Canva to learn how to do this. It can be a little bit tricky to find exactly where to do this, um, but once you learn it, it's super easy. So let's head to my laptop now. Welcome to my laptop. I am logged into my Canva account right now. I think the best way to go about this test is to probably create some sort of a YouTube thumbnail because I think YouTube thumbnails, a lot of times it's like a trend right now where, um, you know, people love to create an outline, outline around themselves so that they really pop up in that tiny little thumbnail photo. So um, you can just go to create a design and type in YouTube thumbnail and then click into this dimension. And then I'm just going to choose um, like a photo, like I think I've uploaded one of my YouTube, I think I'll just use this one. What you want to do for this cover is that you do want to create an outline around yourself. So first thing you're going to want to do is to create a duplicate of this image. So we're just going to hold down option and drag out another version of it. And then I'm going to actually um, drag out the bottom one and just fill the page. So this is essentially going to become our background. And then I am going to make this one bigger, not big enough to fill in the whole space because, uh, well, it will actually fill up the whole thing and it'll be, you wouldn't be able to edit the image. So I'm just going to make it big enough where I want it to be that size, um, without, uh, going all the way. You're going to click on your top image and you're going to click on edit image and then what we want to do is to remove this background. So I'm gonna to go to the background remover and click on that. If you never use a background remover, um, then you will want to make sure that you download the background remover um, before you start. And then if all looks good, you can just click on apply. Now I'm just going to remove some of this background here because it's irrelevant. So now you have like basically one version of this image on top that has no background and then one image of it that has the background. So I'm just going to uh, resize it to fit on top of the bottom one. So this is what I ultimately want it to look like. Now we are going to go down to shadows and I'm gonna click on the glow feature um, and then I'm gonna click on edit and I'm gonna choose the border outline color that you want. So I particularly want white and I'm going to increase the size of it. As you increase the size, you're going to kind of see it come out. So right now it's more of like a glowing effect, but we want an like a blunt outline. So I'm going to turn up the transparency to a hundred and then turn down the blur to zero. Now I do think blur of zero makes it a little bit like unnatural looking so i tend to like to kind of make it like two or three to make it just look like it blends in with the photo a little bit better and if you like how that looks you can click on apply and you have an outline there you go so it's just as easy as that to create this outline effect now you can do whatever you like put some text on the sides or whatever and then once you export it um, let's go to export as a png i'm going to click on download and then let's open the image and see how it looks so there we go. Now we have a white outline. By the way, when you were um, editing this 
uh, shadow image, you can definitely change it to whatever color you want. Like this can be a black, pink, yellow, whatever you want. But I particularly like using white just because I do think it stands out against most backgrounds. So definitely choose whatever color you like, maybe one of your brand colors. But for me, I tend to like white. So use this technique for your, um, for your YouTube thumbnails, for your blog covers for your Instagram posts, wherever you want to create this kind of cool border effect around yourself. All right, that's it. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and a subscribe. By the way, if you really enjoyed this tutorial, you're going to love my Skillshare class, Can the Basics Launch Your Creative Business? It is basically a step-by-step -step three hour class on Skillshare that it's just basically me teaching you all of the basics of how to design on Canva specifically for your business. And then I provide a bunch of beautiful templates like for PDFs, for lead magnets, for Instagram posts, for all things like really how to create an email signature, everything. So be sure to head over to Skillshare to take that class if you want to learn more about how to design for your own business. I'm going to put the link in the description below for my 30 day free trial. So you can basically take the class for free today. All right. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.